Hello everybody and welcome back to your turn to die. Let's begin, shall we? Look at the boy. Look at him. Wait a minute. Okay. Thank God. My liking. Connor. He's reading about the. the this book is really something. He's reading it that way. What are you reading? The Shinsukimi AI test data we found right there. To learn Midori and Soul's relationship, we might learn something about the past, I thought. Find anything of interest? Uh, um, there's this entry here titled Shin Swept by Eternal Wind. Smile beaming. Hang on, that's like the title of a poem. That's exactly right. It's taste test data in the form of a poem. It'll take some time to decipher like this. Kana, can we talk about your lost memories? My memories? Yeah, work with me to find the truth we need to stand against Midori. I guess we do need to do that. But looking back at your memories might be a difficult task. I mean, my sister, right? But it's alright. Cotton's got a co Kana's gotten at least a little stronger than before. And you're here with her, Sarah. Thanks, Kana. Alright then. Okay, go ahead. The memory Kana's wondering about was at the ice cream shop she went to with her sister. Her sister often went, often went there on the way home, so she took Kana there for the first time. But something strange. She can't be sure of what really happened then. Well then, let's give it a try. You were wearing the bucket on your head. And what is that? Why is that scribble? Could you remember this part a little bit more? Okay, um, let's see. Uh, actually, I feel like there was a lot of writing. That's right. They were people's wishes. Wishes? I think customers at the shop would write them. Things like, I hope I won't put on weight, or I hope I won't get cavities. Such grief. I feel like I got curious about it. I talked with the clerk. <sighs> but I don't remember what he said. She had two bags. She was carrying condoms back. Okay. It's my sister after all. Um, ah, I remember that day. Connor got so excited about picking out a cake, she had her sister carry her bag. I see. I know that feeling. That night's happiness depended on that choice. She absolutely couldn't choose wrong. Connor's sister watched her and waited patiently. What a good older sister. Me, I'd probably get engrossed in picking with her. Um, do you think this could be a clue? Of course it is. Hold on, Kana. Okay. There's the consent form. Could you remember this part a little more? Yes, give me a moment. Ah, I've remembered. That was a big glowing ice cream. Isn't that really cute? Kana wants to have one at her house. I don't think it's fancy, but to have it in a room. Kana always figured this was an ice cream shop, probably because she saw the light from outside. In reality, it was the shop of her dreams, filled with so many more kinds of sweets. Kana, she knew her sister often went there too. When she met up with me on the way home, she'd wait there with ice creams in both hands. We would eat our ice creams while chatting, and then... It's alright, I'm the one who decided I'd face up to it. Accept for me. And 
it's Midori again. Midori's just fucking everywhere, man. This ice cream tub is empty. Do you remember this part of the moment? Okay, leave it to me. I think it had a nice, mature level of sweetness, and it filled your mouth with, mouth with a green tea flavor. Green tea flavored ice cream. Ah, I remember. I was gonna say my sister ate too much of it, so they ran out of the green tea ice cream. She was really fond of it. She had it all the time. Kinda was more drawn to the sweet banana and chocolate flavors. Mm. That day in particular, her big sister watched as Kana acted all mature to pick, pick something up. Because they didn't have her favorite flavor. Guess we saw at least one of the discrepancies. Right, let's keep following these memories. So you rat. Hiori. Um, Midori. person a little more? Right, um, huh? Got to think of it, that clerk. He had the same face as Midori. What does that mean? Why was that man there? Has Kana met him before? And also, sister. How long has sister been going to that shop? Maybe they really had been preparing this for much longer than we thought. Calm down, Kana. You want to rest a little? No, I'm fine. Let me continue. And the giant elephant in the room. The outside looks weird. What an elephant to see. Hey, outside the window. Actually, I got it a little wrong. We visited that, that shop in the evening. The ice cream we ate was while walking home from school was so tasty. And it was earlier than usual, so sister decided to go to a different shop. I think they had cakes too. She must have been keeping quiet about it, I'm sure. Do you eat that much? Come to think of it, I wonder if us eating as we walked home was why son said to make my tummy grumble. <laughs> is that caught again? Pavlov's dog? Alright, the doggy that ends up drooling up from just from reading his meal bell. That's so mean, Sarah. <laughs> Sent for him. Did you remember this point a little more? Understood. You know, I feel like something was on that wall. Uh, why? But that. What's wrong, Carl? On the wall? Was that consent form? What's that mean? Connor saw that form there. And she feels like she asked the clerk about what it was. And then after that, um, uh, I can't remember. What in the world is this? I remember what happened that that day. So funny, I was just like, I can't remember. And then seconds later, I remember. I remember. It was like this. I went to the sweet shop with my sister, and there were many wit wish wait 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 and there were many worship many written wishes on the wall. What the fuck? Connor was looking through them. I wonder if your sister put one up too. And among them was that form. Connor asked the clerk who her sister was familiar with. What'd you guys talk about? Hey, <laughs> do you know the Asunarova? The heck's that? It was that paper on the wall, the one that said consent form. If you write your name there, they say one of your wishes will come true. Ah, there are lots of those little cards too. Guessing you're a I wish to stop wetting the bed? Wow! What? I already have. Don't say strange things out in public. <laughs> Sorry. So? Kinda couldn't think of anything, but the clerk, the clerk gave her an idea. You said to grant your wish instead. Huh? Why do you look upset? I'm <laughs> sorry. Let's see. My wish, huh? Maybe I wish for you to meet him, Kana. You're real. Huh? That's right. Your faded partner. Don't you want to meet your faded partner, Kana? I'm fine. You worry about that first, sister. Well, look who's talking. You sure? Once I get married, we'll have to get pretty desperate, you know? Fine by me. As long as someone shows up who loves you as much as Connor does, that is. Looking back now, that clerk, 
I feel like he was Midori. And I just wanted her sister to be happy. After all, she brought her lots of happiness. Midori. Midori is just freaking everywhere. You better hide your kids, hide your wife. Who's here? Ooh, Ranmaru. Um. Bruh. Sarah! It's terrible! I was here checking out the broadcast equipment. But the Shin AI that was on this monitor. Yeah. He was probably killed by Midori. So you knew? I want to get revenge, but... I know. Let's do what we can. I'm gonna look at these machines some more. Come here if you need me, sir. Searching enthusiastic game, eh, mom? Yeah, sh yeah, sure. That was a weak response. Ramara, look at this lantern for me. Hey, I'm busy. Try it on one of the others. Dang, so fun. Yeah, Ramara. Is what's his face here? See, Kaguyama or something? Hayasaka. Oh, it's a computer turn on, isn't it? Hayasaka, you want with Dean? Uh, yeah. He's a cable kid. He being around is just. Oh, never mind that. Look at this. I found the power cord for this computer. If you use that ID card you have, you should be able to see what's on it. Huh. Ooh, something came up. Recru recruitment list. Report. We've located two promising choices for who meet Doctor's requirements. Michiru Namada and Emery Harai. Whoa. It's Sumaili. Sumaili. Thea, both are extremely capable, but are treated poorly at their current workplaces. Mitra Nomeda is a die-hard researcher. Extraction should be simple, so offered an ideal environment. Emery Harai is satisfied at present. Extracting her will prove more difficult. The biggest reason is the presence of a man she's considering marrying at her workplace. Can't win her over, there's only one thing to do. Namely, to drive her beloved mad. He is a fallen and mighty. What if they killed them and then conserved their freaking personalities into AI? Uh, can we do that later? There's a lot I want to check on. Understood. Chat above. Careful when you're alone. Oh! A hand fell down. Whose is this? Huh? It's a doll hand. It's like a note fell with it. An upgrade part gift. The steam spray hand. Ooh, we can give it to whatever his face is. I forgot. Okay, it won't come off by wiping our running. Oh, good. Read this phone, there is some way to remove it. Sarah, hey. So, you found anything, Rico? Nah, nothing. I'm, uh, I'm kinda curious about this room. Curious? There's a transceiver and a voice recorder here, right? Yeah. I'll tell you if I figure it out. Just hold on till then, Sarah. Look into my eyes, Rico Yabusome. Let me talk about your lost memories. Sarah, you mean? I have to remember them so I can stand against Midori. Yeah, guess you're right. I gotta say, it's scary. Like maybe I did something irredeemable in the past. Damn it, I wanna know. I want to clear this fog clogging up my mind. I listen you. You work. You'll work with me, right? Of course. Do your thing, Sam. 
Zoom. My phone was taken. I only wanted to replace the band aid. What the hell could have happened? Cloudy out for a while. Do you remember this part of the morning? The weather, huh? Wonder if that's something. Uh, kind of vivid. Yeah, that ain't it. Oh, that day was real awful. I think I said something like, "Whether it rains or snows, meet me." Wonder why. I know it's rare for me to say. I ain't want to show that kind of concern for a man. It's been pretty important. Shit. What the hell happened? Right, camera on you, Sarah. There's a camera. Could you remember this part a little more? Huh? Sure. Oh yeah, actually, the wall. Must, might have had a security camera on it. Well, there wasn't one when I went before. When that, until that incident with Alice happened. Murder case. Which means they installed a security camera because of that incident. He probably met with all of them and then altered their memories, you know? Yep, just give me a sec. Uh, oh, wait, huh? That ain't a guitar case. It was a big suitcase. We weren't talking about music. That's what came out of that briefcase wasn't an instrument at all. See what was inside. It made my tears well up. I remember feeling like total shit. Sorry, I'm remembering in bits and pieces. What can be a little longer now? Right. Well, yeah, you were fucking crying. Sheesh. Did you remember yourself a little more? Myself? Actually, I don't think I was feeling all that good about meeting him. In fact, I... was crying and listening to him. Maybe hopeful, maybe hopeless. It was something I didn't want to believe. That's right. I feel like I was pulling into him. What a goddamn miserable feeling. Why did I forget something like this? Not to mention. Yeah, uh, I think I met with a member to talk about the band. No, that can't be it. No, it wasn't a bandmate I was with. It was mean. I was mean. With Midori. What the hell? How'd I forget something like that? What did you and Midori even discuss? Shit, what was it? What the hell was I talking to him about? No, wait. There's nothing else it could be. Alice, we were talking about his murder case. <sighs> Damn it. I can't remember our conversation. Please calm down. Let's just take the slow. Check the halls. Listen close. Yeah, you're right, Sal. Alright, I'll try. That's not it. This wasn't sheet music. There were articles about Alice's case. And it wasn't me who brought him either. It was him. That guy I met with. He brought them to show me. Huh? Seeing those artists talk like it was funny. It made my damn blood boil. When I got so upset, I started crying. Being derided? Yeah. Whether it was me wanting to stick up for him, or if I was pissed on Alice's behalf. I don't know. Damn it. What else is there? Quite it. That's it, the vines here got shortened. If I remember right, they changed to get rid of blind spots for people insane. I wonder why. It was like that changed the mood. Maybe there was that incident after all. I got it now. I remember everything. 
my real member, one like this. I wasn't trying to meet with a bad member at all. It was a guy I have to know in town. Me joy! The cop captain me saying, I know the truth about Alice's case. I was sort of torn up then, body and soul. Then I went ahead and met him. The hell do you mean false charges? Alice didn't kill him? Not so loud. It was an accident. It's true. Then why won't they acquit him? Who knows? Don't you think it's strange how they aren't reporting any info on the victim? The world is convinced a drug addict band member committed murder. He insults your family's name. They are a powerful force. There's a powerful tool trying to be your own third family. You gotta be shitting me! Why the hell do we. Don't cry, Mr. Our organization can help you out. Huh? How? You need to prepare yourself. I want you to sign your name on this paper. Huh? Consent form? The Asanaro vow. I can grant you one wish, anything you desire. Who the hell are you? Sorry, but you wouldn't believe me, would you? I'll just call the whole thing off. Wait! Please, Alice. I want to meet him and ask him about everything. At this rate, who's going to resent him? Alright, Miss Rico. Wipe your tears. I'm your only ally. Okay. Thank you. I signed it. I consent for it. I even goddamn thanked him. What kind of you? I never wanted to be like this. I'm losing all my precious memories. What was I supposed to say? Sorry, Sarah. I got all emotional. No, Sarah Senpai. You think the breaker was shut off? Eh? The breaker for the elevator was on 4 4. You mean. Yeah, maybe someone downstairs. Maybe my guitar? Surely not KG. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who did it or why. I'll watch your back, Sarah Senpai. Oh my god, I thought that was Rio Ranger for a second. The hell? In the time about to worry about me, is it? How are you feeling? I'm not too terrible. I'm just starting up well. Hey, um, you okay? How is he, Andrew? Kinda seems to get, get bit better, bit by bit. He's asking, don't you want to charge, though? Passing around the same charger feels a little embarrassing. You're the same as ever, Andre. In a good way, right? Right, Sarah? Look into my glowing ball of light. No. I'm like, not good with that stuff. What? That's our reason? You wanna look since you're about to die anyway? Ah, uh, I'm sorry to say, but I can't see too well. Sorry, let me check these out here some more. Ah! Oh yeah, keep searching alone at the police box. You wanna keep an eye on him just in case? Did something happen with game? He's just he's here st still here. Hello.
fucking bright. What? I don't have that kind of time. It's not having it. Sorry, hey. Sorry, you still keep being going on an answer. I know what's wrong. Hey, King. Leave it to me, meow. Cute. Nice soccer, anything new? Well, it's so complex. My head's my head's sort of overheating. Huh, should I ever stop? Shinobu Gokuju, Hades Incident Refugee. Let us know if you have a finger on his web. Uh, Gin, what's wrong? Hades Incident. I was murdered spree between Yakuza a long time ago, meow. How would you, how'd you know? How'd you know that? I don't know, Wolf. I just suddenly remembered. Someone told me, meow. Midori. The person who survived in that incident took control of the underworld wolf. I mean, that's one of your last memories, too. Big sister Sarah. Sarah, why did I? It's also now I was looking for this person. Oh. <coughs> meow? Something fell out, wolf. It's probably gonna be feeding. It's a Yakuza pinky meow. Gross, wolf. I can, jeez. I don't gotta touch it. It says a steam spray hand, so I'm sure it can do something along those lines. Steam spray? You probably need moisture for that, you know? Moisture. 
Alright, I'll come with. Find a way to use this. Oh, and maybe this too. Huh? A finger. I found it in the police box. Might be another part you can use. Not just foisting junk on me, right? Acidic than I expected. So now what? Now well, maybe you can just eat it. Ah, got it. Let's try it out. Try it then. Okay. Wait a minute. Can send form to get destroyed or something. I agree to devote myself to Awesome Lava for granting my wish. What does this mean? Devote myself to Awesome Lava? Give me yourself up to Awesome Lava. Take it off to me. I want the thing even if it saves my life in the death. Just a single one. That ain't possible. No way we signed something like that. This. Invitation to the death game. Enjoy pressure with the silence. Send my movie the last one. And why am I here? Uh, what if what would happen if I wish to put an end to the death game? Huh? Would it, would it all end at the cost of my life? Don't think any stupid idea. There'd be no point. I wouldn't want that. No, I can't feel this way. It's no different from giving in. Let's go, Ramuro. Away from this place. Huh. Let's go tell. Hey, Sarah? What is it? Hurry! I don't want you to die, Sarah. What do you think about winning? Huh? Mabel told us, right? I guess how strange it is, Arlo. I want us all to escape together. Yeah, of course. We'll all escape together. But is that really gonna be possible? Romaru! Look, I. When I'm with you, Sarah. I feel more and more like I wanna live. The more serious I get. The more, afraid, the more afraid I am to die. Seeing Kurumara, I realize I don't want to die now. That's the same for all of us. Why you have twins, right? Before I get out of this alive, all I have to do is take you out, sir. But I can't do something like that.
On the other hand, I'm sure I could kill anyone else. Bro, calm down. Listen, sir. Wish win for me. Run, baby. Get a grip. Yon boy. Yon dairy sword boy. We're all allies. We've overcome hardships together. Rico, Kyotaro, they protected us, and even as they were hurt, when Gin and Kana were taken by suspicion, they still, still believed in us and gave us courage. So never say something like that again. Sorry. I'm such a piece of shit. I have no right to be your friend. Why are you crying? Why are you carrying, Sarah? I'm just expecting Halusna Joe to come out of nowhere. I'm sure Ranmaru had given up at first. It was me who gave him hope. It was I, Dio. But I can't make a choice like that. I... This is no time to be crying. We'll all return together. I don't intend to abandon everyone. Anyone. Ranmaru, that includes you. My best, best friend. That we're leaving, leaving it here. Okay, now, now, now. Okay. That's it for this episode of Your Dead and Die. We went nowhere, but the only reason why I'm stopping it now is because I'm gonna fucking eat. But anyway, hope you guys had fun watching, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye-bye!